Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about two topics, iOS 13.4, Developer Beta 5, which was released yesterday. And I also want to talk about additional information that continues to pour in about iOS 14 and some of the latest features coming with the next major update. Just overall information about iOS and also Apple News. Now, iOS 13.4, Developer Beta 5, and Public Beta was released yesterday. Now, expect maybe another beta and a gold master copy before the official release for everyone for iOS 13.4. So we're looking at a release date towards the end of the month or so. Now, Apple was rumored to be holding an event to announce a new iPhone SE 2, Apple Air Tags, and a bunch of other products and updates. But it looks like due to the latest coronavirus outbreak, it looks like this event may only be a press release. Apple will update all the products online and just call it a day. But again, iOS 13.4 Developer Beta 5 released yesterday for developers and a public beta testers. Nothing really new within the latest beta. Everything that we already know, Apple continues to build upon. I do want to say I feel the stability improvements in the latest beta. Everything feels a lot smoother. Everything feels nice. The battery and performance, everything with the latest 13.4 feels exactly how it should we already know all of the new features coming with the latest beta so if you want to hold recap of everything to expect with ios 13.4 i'll link down below my playlist of the iOS 13.4 coverage. Now let's go ahead and talk about iOS 14. So iOS 14, there's just been so much information leaked over the past several days by 9to5Mac of early builds of iOS 14, and I've never seen this much info be leaked. Now today I wanna to talk about iMessage because there's four key features that are rumored to be coming with iOS 14 for the iMessage platform. Now some of these features are currently present on third-party applications like WhatsApp and other third-party messaging services but iMessage appears to be getting four key features with iOS 14. And now number one would be mentions. So if you're in a conversation thread, you mention someone in your contacts, that person could get notified and have them join the conversation if I guess they allow you to tag them in a conversation and iMessage. Another thing is the last sent a message could be marked as unread, so you can press and hold most likely and mark it as unread. Another awesome feature rumored to be coming to iMessage is retracting messages. So other third-party applications have this feature where you would send a message and then you can hold and delete that message. The other person gets notified that a message was deleted, but you can retract that message. It doesn't have to stay there. Now, it is unclear if this has a time limit where you can do this, but the latest rumors indicate that retracting messages could be coming to iOS 14. Also, typing indicators could be coming to group messages with iMessage in iOS 14. So as it stands right now with iOS 13, uh, you cannot see the typing indicator bubble that you see when you're typing a message. Now, with group messages, that's something that's currently non-existent in iOS 13. Well, iOS 14 is rumored to be bringing that typing bubble indicator that someone is typing in a group conversation. So four key features coming to the iMessage platform, mentions, retracting of messages, last message marked as unsent, and the uh, typing indicator for group messages for iMessage in iOS 14. I'm very excited. More leaks should be coming soon. Stay tuned here to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day. I'll see you real soon. Peace.